Early the next morning, Squire James introduced Jazhara of Kesh to Prince Arutha. At the request of the prince, James escorted her through Krondor and introduced her to its people and places in order to acclimate Jazhara to her new home. Following an exhaustive tour of the palace and grounds, Jazhara asked to see William, my son, whom she had not seen since he left us here at Stardock to become a soldier in the prince's city guard. James, of course, knew exactly where to take her, for William had become infatuated with a local barmaid, a girl named Talia, who worked for Lucas at the Rainbow Parrot. Pug. James! Jazhara! Help me! Talia's been hurt! Hold on, Talia. Jazhara, you're one of my father's finest students. Can you perform a healing? I'm sorry, William. Her wounds are too severe. Talia, who did this? <coughs> I, I, I don't know. He was a huge bear of a man. He hurt me, William. He really hurt me. <laughs> oh, Talia. I'm sorry. Don't worry, William. I swear by Kahuli. I will have my vengeance. No, Talia! They must pay for this, James. I'm going after them. Wait, William. The prince would have my head if I let you go off alone. You'll have your revenge. And we'll be there beside you. Now tell us what you saw. Right. Martin and I had just ended our shift at the jail. We headed over for a drink, just like always. And that's when we saw them running out of the building. Half a dozen of them, with that big bastard leading them. Well, Martin tried to stop them, and they attacked us without so much as a word. Any idea where they were heading? The jail!
Ascalon rot their black hearts. William, Squire James. Well met, lads. As you've no doubt seen, we have a bit of a problem. Bloody brigands! They've blown out the back of the jail and cut down half my squad. Who are they? Your guess is as good as mine, lad. The leader's a giant of a man, bald with a thick beard. He was wearing some kind of bone amulet, and he swung a mean sword. That's the one, James. What one, boy? The one that killed Talia, the barmaid at the Perry. Lucas's girl. Oh, she was such a sweet thing. My sympathies will. I'll have his heart, Captain. I swear I will. Well, now's your chance, lad. They've got us pinned down, but maybe the two of you can surprise them. We'll do our best, Captain. You'd best leave the woman here. It's bound to be dangerous. I appreciate your concern, but I can handle myself. As you will.
men and I will secure the ground floor, Squire. But there may be more of these villains about. Do me the honor of checking the second floor and the cells below. Oh, thank Dollar who protects the weak and the pious. Who knows what horrors they'd have inflicted on me had you not shown up. Please, you must promise me that you'll capture the brigands responsible for this madness. Shh, go away. I'm hiding until I'm sure it's safe. What happened here? Those men! They broke in and killed everyone! Then they tied me up and ransacked the room! I was fearing for my life when someone called out from downstairs! A great deep voice! And they just up and left me here! Who are you? I'm the head scribe for the jail. It's my task to keep track of the prisoners and the guard schedules. Who were these brigands? I recognized one of them. He's a bosun's mate for Sal and Michael, the pirate. You must go after them! Why didn't they kill you like the rest? Uh, they probably wanted to torture me for information! What information? We have lists of all Krondor's criminals, their crimes, and their suspected whereabouts. This room seems to be in good order. I thought you said they ransacked it. Uh, they must have heard you coming. Aren't you going after them? You said someone called them from below. Not that they heard us coming. Uh, see here, guardsman. I am no criminal. I'm not so sure about that. Perhaps we should take you into custody until all of this is settled. No, don't be hasty. This blade is poisoned, and I know how to use it!
Gott, oh mein Gott, oh mein Gott, oh mein Gott, oh mein Gott. Calm, calm, just try to be calm. They'll be along soon. Any moment now, they've got to come soon. Dalla bless you. Oh, finally someone's come to save me. Not so fast, old man. Did you see what happened? Oh, yes, yes, I saw it. Would that I had gone on to Lim's Kragma before seeing what was done to that poor soul. Who was he? Uh, he called himself Note. Uh, a pirate he was. But he swore up and down that he, he wouldn't hang. Said the prince himself would sign his pardon uh, once he heard the secret Note was keeping. What secret was that? Blast if I know. Note wouldn't say. Uh, but I think there's treasure. Uh, Newt probably had it hid. Uh, that's what all this fuss is about. Calm yourself, citizen, and tell us what happened here tonight. Well, uh, first comes this sound uh, from up above, like the god's own thunder was shaking the walls. Then this man come down the stairs. Oh, a big fella he was, with a beard and murder in his eyes. Newt called him Bear. What did he do? Well, Note's about to wet himself, swearing to all the gods he didn't betray Bear. The big man seemed to believe it, and then he rips the cell door right off its hinges, telling Note to follow him. So Note's thinking he's free, but then the big man grabs him by the throat and lifts him up off the floor. Note's begging for his life, but this Bear fellow just keeps asking where it is. What had Newt done with it? And then? Newt just kept screaming that he hadn't done anything. Bear said Newt was a liar, and started cutting into him, slicing him apart, piece by piece. He wouldn't even wait for an answer. He only stopped when he heard the fighting upstairs. Then we're probably not too far behind him. Let's be off. Maybe we can overtake him. Ah, pity on me. Please, let me out of this place. Sorry, old-timer. We haven't got the key. Please, just let me out of here. I'll go straight. I'll get sober. I'll convert. Each one a noble promise. See that you keep them. Ugh, this one won't be telling us anything. What have you found? Bear was after one of your prisoners. Some pirate by the name of Newt. Aye, we picked him up the other day. He'd been drinking a bit and bragging that his latest raid was going to make him rich beyond his wildest dreams. He even said he had no fear of the hangman, because what he knew was going to get him off the hook. It would seem that Bear believed him. We'll have to question him again, then. Not in this lifetime. He's in pieces all over the floor down there. Bear killed him. The scribe set us all up for this. What? He'd been selling information on the guard schedule to this bear fellow. That's how they knew to attack right after the changing of the watch. I'll see him hung, drawn, and quartered for this. You've done well, Squire. We'll take care of this treacherous scribe. No need. We've already... Someone's escaping out the back! <laughs> He's headed for the north gate! See if you can cut him off! Revealed. Simon, is that you? William! You're a sight for sore eyes. What happened? A squad of mercenaries hit the 
gates, trying to break out of the city. Did they get through? No, Squire. We turned them back, but not by much. A dozen injured, three of them near death. How came these fires? The big one had explosives. Naphtha and Quigan fire oil in bottles. He cared not for what or whom he touched. Did you know these men who attacked? No, sir, but I'll not forget their leader. Great brute he was, sporting a full beard and wearing an amulet of bone. You have done well, Simon. The Prince shall hear of your valor. Many thanks, Squire. Armed men have burned the orphanage. We tried to get inside, but the fire's too intense. What of the children? It's too late. They're doomed. I may be able to help with the heat. Ah. I know a spell that will protect you from any heat except the direct flame. Then weave it quickly, woman. Their lives are at stake. Can you aid us? <laughs> I'm barely standing as it is. No, it's up to you. You must hurry before the building collapses. all of you. Without your help, they would have died. One of the bastards who started this. We'll catch him. Mark my words. Seems to me I've seen him before. You might try a bitten dog. Lucky Pete serves plenty of rogues with his ilk.
Keep your wits about you. We'll not be welcome here. This is a private table. What the hell do you want? Drinks! For me and my friends. That'll be two and sixpence, then drink up and shove off. We've no love for stooges of the court in this bar. You're the one they call Lucky Pete? Aye, Lucky Pete. On account of me skills, the fair says. Come see me later, darling. I'll show you me peg leg. <laughs> You'll have two to show me if we don't find what we're looking for. Ooh, and what might that be? What do you know of a pirate named Newt? Newt, 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 Newt. Uh, say again, uh, lad, I'm, I'm hardly hearing you, though. Know. My memory ain't what it was. Yeah, uh, I knew old Newt. Just a small-time pirate. But he did all right for himself, till the bloody guard caught up with him. No offense, of course. None taken, yet. Did Newt say anything unusual in the past few days? Drank so much, who could tell? Did say that his last job was going to set him up for life, but nobody believed him. Any idea where the man lived? Got himself a room upstairs. Had it a couple months. May we examine this room? You must be daft. I can't be letting folks wander through my guest's belongings. This guest lies dead, hacked to pieces. Oh, well, in that case. You can look, but make it quick and don't be bothering me the other guests. And bring the key back directly, else I'll send me friends to see you. What of this bastard they call Bear? Do you know him? Aye, oh, big fella. He's been seen here a time or two. Another round, barkeep. That's another two and six. Then toss them back and be off with you. Are you the sea captain called Sullen Michael? There's them what calls me that, but never to me face. And who might you be? I am James, squire to His Majesty Prince Aruth. I seek news of the attack on the jail. Such valuable news carries a price. It was an outside job, foreign mercenaries, and well paid. What of Newt, the pirate being held at the jail? His pirate and days are over, but you knew that. Word has it he worked for the crawler. Big man who led the attack. They call him Bear. Not one to turn your back on. And what did Bear sink? Got no clue about that. But I appreciate your generosity. Come back any time your purse feels a bit heavy. Ha! <laughs> what are we here? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a cool bootleg in his cashier pack. You supposed to be a guardsman, lad? You're barely out of swaddling clothes. And would you like to see what this lad can do? That's enough, Will. We've no quarrel with these gentlemen. All we seek is knowledge of the pirate called Newt. And why should we even waste our time with you? Each cargo taken by the pirates is one less cargo for you to unload. True enough. I've heard of this. Mute. Don't know the name. Do you think you'd know more if you spent the next month in jail? You know, the jail where Mute was killed? Uh, listen, we didn't mean anything by it. Talk to Lucky Pete the bartender. He knows more than most about folks around here. Why is he called Lucky? 
With his personality, he's lucky to be alive. <laughs> to the door that leads to the main sewers. It must be what this villain was looking for. What does it mean? Lucas has a secret entrance to the sewers behind the bar. He used to charge people for the use of the key. This key! So Newt has been using Lucas's spillway to get into the sewers. Yes, probably to hide treasure from his last pirate raid. Could Newt have stolen the key from Lucas? No, they must be in this together. Newt's murderer wanted to know where it was. I bet it was the treasure. 
for anyone who knew where the treasure is. Then Lucas must have escaped into the sewers when Bear attacked. But why hasn't he come to the Prince? Then our task is clear. We must find him, and quickly. And pray we get to him before Bear!